JBN, we keep you informed. Mother threatens to sue hospital because they killed her baby. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, leave us a comment and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items. Tavina Stewart, a distraught mother, is now thinking about suing the health sector for negligence after her baby died at a public hospital on October 22. Stewart could barely keep her composure when she shared her heartbreaking story. She said, I feel like I'm going crazy sometimes. Although I have another daughter, it's hard to know I go through a lot to have my baby. I felt a lot of pain when I came home. Even when me I bury her, me I said to myself, as she alone are going at the grave. Sometimes I wake in the middle of the night and look out on the grave to see if me hear my baby I cry. Stuart, the 24-year-old mother, said that she had a normal pregnancy and was anticipating the birth of her daughter. She said that during her prenatal visits, her doctor recommended that she did a C-section because they believed she would have been unable to do a natural birth. When I got to the hospital on October 21, a nurse examined me and told me that my passage was too tight, so I would have to do a C-section. The baby's heartbeat was okay, but I just wasn't dilating at all. Each nurse I encountered, I told them that I had to get a cut. A few hours later, I got to three centimeters, she said. Stuart said that a doctor at the institution told her that if she wanted to get a C-section, she should go and pay for it elsewhere because the hospital only does the procedure whenever there is an emergency. My doctor had written it on the package that I took to the hospital that I needed to get cut. But when I tell the doctor, she start cuss. She eventually tests me again and she said, me the five centimeters and she said I should go in the delivery room, she said. Stuart said that she was told to return to her bed and by the following morning, her cervix had dilated to 8 centimeters. A nurse told me to lay on my side, and I kept crying to them because I was in so much pain. She told me if I want to push, I should turn over and push. Me keep on a push, and me even mess up myself, but the baby still wasn't coming. She called her next nurse, and she began to push in my belly, but the baby still wouldn't come, she said between tears. All me a ball out in a pain. Them dust around me a talk about party and vacation. Afterwards, when them realized that the baby now born, one of them slipped me and a doctor come and slipped me again and at that time the baby born, she said. Crying uncontrollably, Stuart said that she immediately knew something was wrong when her newborn daughter was motionless in the nurse's arms. I told him from the start to cut me and them never do it. When my baby born, she never opened her eyes. She no cry or anything. My poor baby daughter brain crush up. Me have sleepless nights and no one really know what I'm going through. My next daughter feel it because she not stop crying. I miss my little girl, she said. As she prepares to meet with an attorney next week, the woman said she implores other suffering families to speak out. I didn't know there were so many other women in similar situations. This treatment has to stop because no one knows what we really endure. Right now, I feel like a mad woman. She said, oh my God, JBN, Whew, we keep you informed. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, leave us a comment and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items.